Oh man. Greetings, greetings, greetings. So I don't know if you're going to get um, that little intro I just did or whether this is my intro, but I did do a little intro. I just looked down at my camera and I noticed that I wasn't actually, oh, wasn't actually recording, but here I am, look, Southmead Police Station. <clears throat> I thought I'd come down here and give it a brief, a brief audit. You can see some of the police cars there. I don't know if this is like the main police station from um, Southmead that does like the emergency um, emergency response or whether this is just like a small small little um, community police station I don't know um, Southmead Southmead is quite um, I don't want to say rough but there are there is quite a fair amount of crime that happens here in Southmead so I would have thought that the police station like this would would have um emergency response i mean you can see the response vehicles there also as well so hi, there. hi. Not, you mind not pointing that at me sorry i said you mind not pointing that at me you don't want to be on camera no i don't but then don't approach a man with a camera um as i was saying as i was saying guys um i'm not sure if this is uh like a major response um station or whether it's just kind of like office and paperwork kind of you know what I mean but it is relatively small I wouldn't have thought that they've got any um, any cells or any kind of holding holding facilities or anything like that uh, but you never know I mean they could have but it just looks like a converted house to be fair but we'll give it five or ten minutes here and see if we can get any um, any police cars coming out or anything like that which will be interesting you know how much I like seeing police cars so they talk to about them all the time this guy's doing sign language over there look oh I try and keep the camera steady but he, he's performing he's performing sign language um, trying to get across to them that I'm out here filming hello mate you right yeah I like that scarf. Nice scarf, mate. <laughs> I want a scarf, yeah. buddy. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, let's not get these members of the public on camera because uh, there's just some guys coming out of reception. So sorry about the wobbly cam for a minute while these guys get past me. Because um, we don't want to get members of the public who might potentially be um, be feeling vulnerable. Some of you will know. That is not nice feeling vulnerable, <laughs> you know, so I wouldn't want to um, be the person to make anybody feel that way. Let's take a look at this sign anyway, see what else we got on the hospital grounds. <laughs> there you go, in case you wanted to know the layout of uh, Southmead Hospital. You see, you've got a children's centre there, which we'll keep the camera away from. I'm unsure what it actually is, the children's centre, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to um, go anywhere near that, uh, near that window. Um, yeah, that guy, I see like, he, that security guard who we spoke to just now, he noticed me from across the car park earlier on and kind of like, made a made a beeline towards me and uh, I'm unsure whether the police have told him that I'm permitted to do it or not but he seems to want to leave he's got his phone out so he's going to try and take a picture of me much he wants to badly but he doesn't want to be on camera at the same time and because I'm looking at him he um, <laughs> he's getting a little bit a little bit annoyed but yeah, it happens. <laughs> it happens. Uh, so one person allowed in the office at a time. Please observe social distancing. PC 101, PC yellow, as AB says it. Please replace the handset when you're done. So yeah, I think that um, the gentleman, the security guy, was informed by the police that um, everything was okay. 
and that I wasn't actually causing any issues, which is good. I like to see that. I like to see the police educating people who um, who take offence to to us auditing. It's nice to see. Let's go around here then, see if we could take a look around the back, see if there are any other uh, police vehicles or anything interesting to see. No, nothing else really. Face mask on the floor. Other than that, not much to report around here. Just four, um, just four police cars today. You see the gentleman over there. He's on. He's still. Um, he's still scoping me out. See. He's still scoping me out. I'm mean, gonna just go in and find out if um, if they informed the gentleman that I was with him. Oh. I was within my rights to, um, to film here. So let's go in and find out. Automatic door. Is she gonna let me in or no? Can I come in please? Oh, okay, she said one minute. Let's wait for her and let's go in. Well, where did she go? Where did she go? Where did she go? <laughs> where did she go? That man is still, like, he's literally just hanging around, look, over there. In his high vis, he's just hanging around on the phone watching me. We'll just get him on camera just in case he tries anybody tries to attack me or anything. We keep him on camera. We get him on camera just to document who he is and no other reason than that. We just wanted to make sure in the interest of safety. I know. Yeah. Ah. Here she is. Sorry? I just wanted to ask a quick question, that's all. I won't, I, yeah, I just wanted to ask you, I won't point the camera if you, that's what you're worried about. I just wanted to ask you a question. No, but it's just, whoa. That lady, she's just got a bit, a bit angry. She used the, she says use the yellow phone. The station's shut, yet we had people in there just now. And, um, yeah, we had people in there just now, right? Yeah, they're shut, but you know, you know that's a lie. You know that's an absolute lie. Well, security has decided to take a walk. He's this, he's disappeared now. I'm assuming the fact that he made that phone call. I'm assuming it was to the police, and um, I'm also assuming that they told him that I wasn't actually breaking the law, and uh, that I was permitted to do so. I can only obviously assume that that was what was said. It may not have been said and it could potentially have been... Bloody hell, look how shaky my hand is. Even I can notice the shake on the little camera. Sorry about that. Gimbal imminent, guys, by the way. Just so you know, I'm going to get one today. So probably my next audit will, will be steadier. Anyway, guys, um, I'm not going to hang around much longer. Uh, what the kind of interaction that just happened or the way the guy stood behind on the phone and then kind of skulked off and he didn't really get to see the way he was walking off but he didn't look a happy chappy at all so we're going to call it a day it was a a reasonable pass I guess from Southmead police station apart from the security guard who came over but he isn't actually from the police station he's part of the um, part of the hospital security so yeah he's gone everybody's gone so that means um it's time that i'm gonna go now so yeah that was southby police station guys and uh, i hope everybody's cool stay blessed peace sorry guys the pcso came out to 
came out, so I thought I'd go back over. Hello, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she said it was closed. Yeah, this, well, the front office is closed. Oh, it wasn't really important. It was just a quick question because the, uh, the security challenged me when I was recording and he right. came in and he kind of was on the phone. He's following me around a bit. Right. I just wanted to I just wanted to know whether he was informed that I'm not breaking the law and I'm free to do what I'm doing. Security haven't been in touch with us. Oh, you ju I just I literally watched him walk in there and speak oh, to the lady at the front. Here. Yeah. Oh, okay. I haven't spoken That's to That's why I was confused. She said it was closed, but when I got here, two people were in there. Then the security right. guard went in, but she wouldn't allow me to go in. Yeah, I, so think, I, just... she's, I think she's trying to do a meeting. So okay. she's, she's on Zoom at the moment. So okay. I had a full conversation. She just wanted to go out and speak to you because you wanted to speak to her. Oh, I, 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 was, I literally just wanted to know whether the gentleman was informed that I, was, that I was, wasn't breaking the law. Uh, well, it, I, don't know, I don't know what the front office lady has said, in all honesty. Yeah. Um, but nothing's made its way to us upstairs. So. Okay, but you guys are happy, you're happy that I was here? You're, you... you're in a public place, so... Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, right. thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye. Here goes, just a quick one, because I don't like walking away. Like, I get this thing, like, I don't know if any of you other auditors feel like this, but let me know if you do, right? But I always find if I go on an audit and there isn't any police interaction, I always worry a little bit when I'm leaving that potentially um, they might try and catch up with me on the, on the way as I go back to my car or as I get in my car. So I, wonder, I worry about that a little bit. So that's the reason why I went back. Um, anyway, that is really the end of the video now. So peace.